Hey guys, it's Sandu back at it again with another Lost Art video. Let's talk about how the card system works. You'll get cards from doing all types of activities, so you're going to be receiving cards while playing the game a whole lot. And you might not know what these cards do. It might look confusing at first, but it's actually really simple. If you open up the card deck menu, you can see there's three tabs available. Decks, Collection and Workshop. Let's start with the first tab, the Decks section. This is the main section of the cards. It'll display all cards by their deck. These cards will then give you a special effect if you have the required amount. Let's take the Arc deck for example. Having two of these cards equipped will give me Elemental Magic Resistance increased by 5%. If you place another two cards, you'll unlock yet another 5%, and the last two for a total of 15%. This means you can mix effects with other cards from different decks. So you can keep four of these set and have two of another set to receive both their bonuses. There's all types of effects you can get from these cards. Crit rate, damage, defense, health, etc. There's additional bonuses that you can receive from having a full deck equipped, but will require you to upgrade your cards. To upgrade your cards, let's move to the Workshop tab where you can see all the cards that you own. You can also see duplicates marked by a symbol which lets you know how many extras you have. To upgrade a card, you're going to require Upgrade EXP. You can receive this EXP from using this type of cards. There is green, blue, purple and yellow rarity. With yellow one giving you the most EXP. Now all you have to do is drag the card you want to upgrade to the right side of the window and use your stored EXP to max out the EXP bar. Once you've done this, you're going to be required to use a duplicate of that card to upgrade that card one level. The upgrade to level 1 requires one duplicate, level 2 requires two duplicates, level 3 requires three, and so on. So this can be quite a grind. So now that you know how to upgrade the cards, let's show you why you would want to upgrade. If we head back to the deck section and take the Borea Castle full set for example, you will receive a total of 25% dark resistance for having 6 cards equipped. But you can receive additional effects, such as critical chance plus 7%. However, this requires you have all 6 cards equipped and have the total of upgrades equal to 12. So you will need to upgrade your cards in this set a total of 12 times. Doesn't matter if one card is upgraded 5 times, 1 4 times, 1 3 times. The total would be 12, which will then activate the critical chance plus 7%. All card sets have their upgrade effects, so take a look at them, find one that you like, and farm it if you've got the free time. The last tab is Collection. Collecting a full deck will award you with passive stats. Just plain and simple. You don't have to equip anything, and this is done automatically. As you can probably tell, it is very time consuming going for these cards. So I'd recommend sticking with the base set effect at the beginning of the game, and then later on, farming your desired set to upgrade. And that is the card system in Lost Ark. Hopefully you learned something new and thank you for watching. If this video was any help, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.